Well, let's see. We have uh, a Pentagon and a president who says he's going to veto the DOD bill, bill, which will put us, according to the left, in real peril and jeopardy because of national defense. We are now sending short, uh, I mean, longer range uh, missiles to Ukraine that are cluster bombs because those worked out so well. Um, yesterday, after we did that, Medvedev said, uh, you know, there's going to be a there's going to be a nuclear attack on America. Um, so we have that going on. We have the government possibly shutting down soon. We have the migration, uh, legal uh, immigration thing going on. We have Trump. Uh, we have the election. We have the economy going to hell in a, in a crap basket. And let's do one more thing. Stu, breaking news. We have an impeachment inquiry, an official one, uh, that being announced by Speaker McCarthy just moments ago. Uh, the formal impeachment in inquiry will begin into Joe Biden, led by Representative James Comer, Jim Jordan, and Jason Smith. It was a short statement. Uh, the allegations of abuse of power, obstruction, and corruption. Um, as the part of this, Kevin McCarthy says, I am directing our House committees to open a formal impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden. Over the past several months, House Republicans have uncovered serious and credible allegations into President Biden's conduct, a culture of corruption. So this is happening, and it will give them some additional investiga investigative powers, which are Im important when looking for what they're trying to dig into, right? It's really hard to get to this information. They've hit some walls, oftentimes uh, government walls <laughs> in the middle, in the way. Uh, they will be able to break down some of those walls and see some more of this information. Uh, you can, I mean, we've had reports over the past week that there may be some sort of charge coming against Hunter Biden on the gun situation. Yeah, I think this is why they're moving so quickly on this. Um, because, uh, the FBI has been saying, we're going to, we're going to, you know, we're going to do a plea bargain on the gun. We're going to do that here in the next week or so. And I think Congress wanted to make sure that they had that all locked down before there was any kind of plea bargain that might skate through with some judge, uh, on the, uh, on the gun charge, which Hunter Biden is continually mm. saying covers all past crimes. Even this new one. Yeah, he is saying that, and his attorneys are saying that. I don't know if that's actually true, but that is what they are saying. So this is a big moment. And, of course, Glenn, more, there's more to this than just the investigation and more to this than whether President Biden did anything wrong or not, which, of course, I think he did. The calculation needs to be made politically on this. This is a political process, and the calculation is, do you believe you can convince enough of the American people to believe this isn't some quote unquote, witch hunt. Um, I think there's enough there, whether the American people want to look at it or not is a totally different story. You already have, I think, 45% or 35% of Democrats now saying he did something wrong, possibly illegal. Mm -hmm. um, that's a Number's large, high. that's yeah. a large number. Yeah, it's, it's farther along than the media would let you know. You yes. know th these are, this is a process that takes a long time. And just knowing just this general sense of corruption goes a long way. You know, uh, you know, we've talked about this on the Trump side of things, right? If you, we could talk about all the different, there's four indictments on Trump, right? The New York one, for example, is impossibly weak, right? Obviously just a political persecution. Uh, I don't think that most of the people, even on the left, will say that, that are looking at the details. But when you pull the American people, there's almost no separation between the four cases. They right. see, they, some people think Donald Trump is guilty of stuff. Some people don't. And it breaks down on those lines. People aren't even looking at the facts here. But the general sense of corruption is really important. And it's, it's, a, it's unfortunately affecting both sides here. The fact that you can get this to cancel out, if these two things cancel out, it's probably really good for Donald Trump. Bad it, for the country. It's bad for the country, but it's probably good for Trump's campaign because outside of the corruption stuff they, they throw at Trump, it's impossible to justify reelecting this guy. Uh, and by that, this guy, I mean Joe Biden. He's done a terrible job. He's 115 years old. He can't string three sentences together. 
under normal circumstances, he would have absolutely no chance to be reelected. But with with what's going on now, of course, that's another story. So you're going to see him, uh, I think, sooner rather than later. The minute these actual investigations and any kind of any kind of formal presentation of all those facts as they are found, I think you're going to see uh, Joe Biden resign uh, because of health. Because of health, mm. um, and uh, I don't don't uh, think that that won't have the same kind of deal that uh, Gerald R. Ford did. It will be the end of Kamala Harris's career, period. Because the reason why Gerald R. Ford didn't win is because he took over from Nixon and everybody went, when he pardoned him, everybody was like, whoa, whoa. And it was the right thing perhaps to do for the country. Maybe not. But at the time, it was you know sold as the right thing to do for the country, so we could all move on. But everybody was like that 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 was a bad deal. That was a mm. deal cut in uh, in the dark. Sure, and that's how people would think look at it. I think any time a president pardoned one of his close allies, yeah. Uh, do you think though uh, that we're the same country? Do you think we would react the same way? Are these historical parallels? Would they work? Are they? They're certainly worth understanding, but does that apply to? Today? Yeah, because I think anybody's, everybody's looking for an excuse to just say no, no way, Kamala Harris. Yeah, I do think that's real. Yeah, <laughs> that's and they'll, they'll, real. they'll, that will just be the last straw. That'll be the convenient straw that breaks the back. I'm not sure. I mean, I think with the way partisanship is today, I, I don't know if this will work. I, I should. I mean, I will say I started the Biden. Uh, corruption stuff, really open-minded, relatively skeptical of whether we'd find anything. I mean, I, I'm not saying he didn't do it. Obviously, there's some level of corruption with every politician. I didn't have a high opinion of Biden. But the fact that we would find as much as we found, the text messages basically identifying that Hunter Biden is using this influence, he's taking the money and then giving a bunch of it to Joe Biden, like, that's really direct. It's on text messages. <laughs> yeah. Through the family. Yeah. Uh, the shell corporations. I mean, some of this stuff is over the top more than I ever thought we would find. Some of that gets easy when a guy leaves his laptop at a computer repair shop, sure. I will admit. But still, this is they've gone a far away. I don't know if the American people are open enough to information that is damaging to their own side that they will look at this honestly. They won't the minute he's out of office, and that's what he's counting on. He does not want Hunter to go to jail. Mm -hmm. He does not want That's to go true. to jail himself. Um, you know, do you want to spend your your last few minutes, years fighting this kind of fight where it could work out to be really bad for you? I mean, this is why I thought he wouldn't run because I I've, I've been on the Biden train of uh, of corruption now. For the f two years before he became president. It wasn't until Peter Schweizer's book. that Peter really, did that four years yeah. before. And I'm like, well, I don't know. You know, was, we're yeah. ever going to prove it. Oh, once we got into the impeachment of Trump and I saw what was happening in Ukraine, I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is horrible. And since then, horrible. we've added a lot, a lot. of information. I, I, and I think it is really important in these type of situations to have super clear and understandable evidence that the American people can see and yeah. understand. Well, they can. It, it, they can't. They're not going to take more than five minutes to understand this. If people, I, I feel like I talk to this, the audience of my show, uh, Studios America, and of course this audience. You're different than everybody else. I don't think they understand that at times. They, people don't watch this stuff like this audience watches this stuff. But, but. It's hard. It will come down to one thing. It will. It always does. O.J. Simpson. Nobody listened. I mean, we watched it every day, yeah. but nobody was really listening. What did that come down to? The, maybe the glove fit. If it right. doesn't it, fit, it, you it must, must acquit. acquit. Okay? Amazing. It, with all, they had DNA. Yeah. But DNA was too early. Yeah. So they had DNA. They had all of it. It came down to the glove. You need that thing. You, you need, need that, thing. that thing. And I and don't know, text messages are pretty close to that thing. Oh, I think they have the thing. 
I, I really do. I think they have the thing. It's just not been put all in one place yet. Just not yeah, all there. You yet. need that real narrative. Now you've point. You've actually painted that out really well on a couple of your TV shows um, and on radio as well. Um, but with visual aids, sometimes it's easier to oh, really yeah. see that stuff put together. But if they can make that case in a clear and concise fashion, I think you do have a chance. And uh, part of the reason is Biden's weakness. If Biden was Obama, I don't think the Democratic side of the argument would look at it. I think they they, they just brush it off to racism or whatever because they liked him so much he was a you know relatively popular democrat i mean among democrats biden the there's a built-in doubt with him they don't want him to run again overwhelmingly oh, even yeah. democrats they think he's too old no he was expendable from the very beginning from the very beginning and so was kamala if they could figure out another path here that they thought was plausible and it's not kamala i don't think it's gavin newsom you they don't, might think it is they might think it is they Here's the thing. They're going to run. I think they're going to run Gavin Newsom because he's young and they can now do that old thing to Donald Trump, even though it doesn't it doesn't stick with Donald Trump because he's he's lucid. Yeah. The problem is not his age with Joe Biden. It's that he's not lucid all the time. Okay. Um, But I I think they're going to run somebody young and it won't be Kamala. This will be the way to get Kamala out because she's tainted by this administration. She's oh, yeah. really done nothing on her own. No. And so And she'll pardon. She might even pardon both of them. And that will and that will be the real I think you're right. death knell for America because this has to be uh punished. Even even I even if they both were in a plane crash, you know, orchestrated by Putin. Um they still, this still should go through, and we have to know, how did they do it? Stop all of that and teach a lesson that you cannot get away with this, because this was the worst corruption in American history. Um, can I, how much time do we have here, sir? I, I, how, uh, we have about a minute. About a minute. Um, how do you see the politics of this playing out? Do you think... This will would work as forget the truth is does it work as a tactic for Republicans? It didn't work, you'd argue, for the Clinton impeachment. I don't think it's a tactic. I'm not saying it's a tactic. I'm yeah. just saying how does it work as a tactic? Because right or wrong, this is going to have political ramifications. Does I it work the, to convince people? I or don't do people... know anymore. I don't know how to judge Americans anymore. But I I will say the evidence is so strong. Do you see the evidence that came out today? With his, what was it, his grandniece or somebody that was working in the Treasury, also sending emails to Devin and giving him information about a, a treaty with uh, or a, a, a uh, economic mm. conversation in China that she happened to be attending. And so she could hear it. She made all the notes, sent it to him. I mean, it, the evidence here is yeah. so overwhelming, I think overwhelming we're not even hitting the witnesses right no. we're, the text messages no. are one thing the pe- how many of his close business associates that were highly invested in a biden presidency and vice presidency have come out now and said this stuff is true i mean we have tons of people on the record who've said it uh, it, it is incredible and i if they can paint this if they can do this right they have a real chance to make a difference here i think politically it's going to play out at first as this is just a response for the corrupt donald trump Yep, they are just trying Revenge. to perse- persecute us. Mm-hmm. Blah blah blah. They'll use all the things that they're doing right now because that's what they always do. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it works this time. But I, <laughs> who knows? Who am I to say? <laughs>